Well, someone saw the Harry Potter movies. I'm falling down a dark hole. This child is having nightmares about the future. Has anyone checked her for midichlorians? Also, Alice can't remember the animated movie well enough to realize it was her. Do you think I've come round the bend? Yes, yes I do. At least until ten years from now, when the sh you're babbling about actually happens to you. For the second time. But even then, you'll probably have no proof. So, yes. My answer is yes. I'm sticking with yes. You're mad. Bonkers. Off your head. But I'll tell you a secret. All the best people are. This is patently untrue, and the reason why we have Donald Trump as a presidential candidate. It's only a dream, Alice. Nothing can harm you there. And then I immediately started fantasizing about Freddy Krueger showing up in this movie, and I could think of nothing else. I'd be fine if the movie just started here. Where's your corset? Who knew? Alice in Wonderland is an extension of Jane Austen's world. Also, yes, corsets were terrible. I don't argue that. But I do argue the lazy storytelling cliché of sticking a corset-hating heroine into the plot set during corsets or commonplace time. Only one. It's always the same ever since I can remember. Wonderland has been haunting her dream for 13 years, and I'm sure it means something super important, but right now it just feels like a lot of wasted time on the part of Wonderland. Ed Sheeran seems disappointed with the hot girl he's prearranged to dance with. Also, the dude you're being arranged to be married to is totally and completely unacceptable cliché. Flock of sprites. I was wondering what it would be like to fly. Why would you spend your time thinking about such an impossible thing? Movie spends way too much time telling us how humorless and unimaginative this world Alice lives in is. wonder if your mother knows that you two swim naked in the Havisham's pond. Oh, snap! Where's the footage of that? I mean, she totally owned them right there, right? I mean, assuming there's verifiable footage of said naked swimming. You know, for science. He won't do better than a lord. Q Lord being disgusting. You could always paint the roses red. What an odd thing to say. <sighs> but alas, he cannot marry me. Unless he renounces his throne. <laughs> it's tragic, isn't it? Very. Girl slowly backs away from presumably crazy person in order to continue her chase after a CGI possibly imaginary rabbit in a waistcoat. Lowell? Alice's sister's husband makes out with a mistress in basically full view of everyone. This era's version of a court sketch artist must work really f***ing fast to have already painted this much of the scene in front of him in like 10 seconds. Also, Alice is nowhere near that blonde, dude. Alice flees a public engagement event with hundreds of spectators and not one person follows her. Also, this is some otherworldly color coordination for this engagement party. Or are you saying the entire kingdom only has the range of white to sky blue to choose from? And if so, why? Alice doesn't die from just the extended free fall alone. Falling piano catches up to her, then slows so she's falling faster, and this entire scene is giving Galileo the finger. Underground ex machina bed. Cool transition, but how did she suspend herself for even a few seconds up there thinking it was the floor? Is she really trying this right now? How stupid is she? Also, could we at least see what she sees? outside the door? Give the character some motivation. Give us some motivation for hoping she gets outside. I mean, come on. Only after trying every door, then trying the key in every door, did she finally see the super obvious drink me potion on the table. Of course. If there is one thing I will always do without delay, it's that I will drink any liquid in front of me that says drink me. It's only a dream. It is? You mean you ran away from that Hamish dude, found a tree, and immediately went to sleep? Or does she think it's a dream? Someone tell me how to enjoy things. I'm not a perv, I promise, but why did the outer dress not shrink after the potion, but the inner undergarment thing did shrink? All I'm looking for here is consistency, yo. You'd think she would remember all this from the first time. Wonderland creature would be amazing at cinema sins. Now see, that's just an insult right there. This girl will do whatever foodstuffs tell her to do. And now the slip dress undergarment that shrunk when she drank the liquid appears not to be growing with Alice after the bite of eat me cake. What are the rules with the clothing? Tim Burton Heaven. Also, looks like Alice found herself in Sam Raimi's Oz. Also, this isn't even a nightie. This is a whole separate dress she was apparently wearing under the initial dress. Rocking horse flying thing. Yep, that's a bird walking with a cane right there. Who are you? Voice of Alan Rickman, further proof I'm watching a Harry Potter movie. Frab just being the day you slay the Jabberwocky. Are you fucking serious? They took Jabberwocky, a nonsense poem, and turned it into an Alice slays the Jabberwocky story? Someone pounded their hand on the table and said, this Alice story isn't Lord of the Rings enough. Let's have her kill a monster. Also, here's yet another goddamn prophecy, stealing any suspense you could have possibly conjured during watching this. Movie pretty much fast forwards itself for us. Not hardly. Vaping. Now that the movie really has no place to go, here's a monster. That's not the way needles and eyes work. Neither of these assholes suffer any injuries whatsoever from the very dangerous looking thorn walloping bullshit. Wonderland branded Disney Castle. Presence of Helena Bonham Carter, further proof I'm watching a Harry Potter movie. No one will be seated during the Who Stole My Tarts interrogation of the frog scene. Also, of all the things a frog would steal, tarts? Seriously? Not flies or some other sensible frog thing, but tarts? Jesus. Also, who eats tarts in such a way as to leave this kind of sloppy ass evidence? No joke, straight up, how the f is this fish moving like this? It's like his tail is feet somehow, which is stupid, but if this universe has some kind of advanced evolution, then maybe it makes sense. Movie? Care to explain? That's what I thought. I'd know that tangled mess of hair anywhere. 
Is it Alice? You just said you knew. What's she doing with my darling Jabberwock here? You mean you can't decipher what a sword-wielding hot chick is doing to a monster in this picture? For my wife and pups as well. Voice of Timothy Small, further evidence I'm watching a Harry Potter movie. Dogs will believe anything. That's true, but if horses can talk and are so smart, how did they ever allow assholes to ride them? It looks like you ran afoul of something with wicked claws. Voice of Stephen Fry, further proof I'm playing a Harry Potter game. The moon turns into a smiling cat face that actually ends up looking more like Toothless from How to Train Your Dragon than a moon cat, but whatever. <laughs> The Mad Hatter completely disrespects a solid tea party setup. My twist brought us the wrong Alice! If I hear this wrong Alice one more time, I'm gonna personally put rat poison in this mouse's teacup the next time I dream off to Wonderland. What happened that day was not my fault. You're an out on him to save your own skin. Either this is shit I'm supposed to remember from the animated Alice in Wonderland, or it's some really forced exposition. Regardless, it gets a sin. On that day, I shall futter whack him vigorously. It's supposed to be a dance, but it sounds extremely like masturbation. Drink this quickly. <laughs> Does this chick ever refuse to eat or drink strange things thrust upon her suddenly? She's like the food drink version of Jim Carrey in the Yes Man. Let me out! Did you not see bad guys a minute ago? Do you really think you've been stuffed in a teapot for no reason? Don't know what bloody peg it. Dog that thinks he's going to get his family back if he finds Alice retreats because of some sort of loyalty gibberish. Pass the scones, please. Oh yeah, by the way, who makes the tea and the scones and everything on this table? And where? And where do they keep the proper cookware and utensils? Try this on the side. Up until now, Alice hasn't needed any tailoring on her clothes, whether she becomes big or small. I love traveling by hat. Rally. just Alice, please. But that hat is big enough for several tiny creatures. You were much more... much here. You've lost your muchness. And this is what passes for dialogue in a Tim Burton film these days. In there, something's missing. Super nebulous something's missing in your soul dilemma will now power this film's plot. Tell me what Red Queen has done. It was here. You mean she asked for details about the Red Queen's evilness on the site of said evilness? Just by chance? The f High top clan have always been employed at court. Now we have a flashback within a dream that isn't really a dream. What the Red Queen did, and this is unforgivable, is made everything a CGI wasteland. The Sad Hatter. Hold on tightly. Alice doesn't fall off this hat. You were supposed to lead them away. The Hatter trusted you. They have my wife and pups. Which is why I totally pretended you weren't in the Hatter's teapot earlier. My motivations tend to change whenever the plot requires it. Literally 37 seconds of her riding a dog. There's only one way across. And it's straight out of the movie Labyrinth. Smell good, taste bad. She's riding giant floating faces, and instead of being impressed or freaked out, I'm mostly thinking about human tissue decomposition and how it's accelerated by water burial. Dog's ability to throw a hat eclipses most people's ability to throw a baseball. Using a flamingo as a croquet racket to hit a ball made out of a hedgehog is not only cruel, it's a finger to physics, which would suggest that a limp flamingo head and neck would exert practically zero force on a lying still hedgehog. Why would she want to eat the growing cake right now? What happened to your clothes? I outgrew them. I've been growing an awful lot lately. This flimsy excuse bullshit actually works. I need a pig here! Pig footstools. Not one Disney castle, but two Disney castles. Have you seen a hat around here? Why does the porcupine squeak, but every other animal in this world talks? Do you still have the bandersnatch, Charlie? Right here. I was about to say, aha, I gotcha. She clearly wasn't carrying this eye around with her before. But no, she had it in this previous scene. But I knew I had to send something. So how about why she decided to haul this thing around with her in the first place? Alice wants George McFly away easily and runs down a hallway. And the movie wants the takeaway to be that this other asshole chick saw the whole exchange. Really? I have your eye. Alice believes that just because she returned the Bandersnatch's eye, that it will just let her search the place for the Vorpal Sword. Which it does. Stop! Stain. Well, you slipped all night in here, so I guess you passed the test. The key has been around my neck all along. Urine of the horsefly? Damn, she has a whole pot of horsefly urine, which then makes me wonder how that's collected, and in such large quantities. Three coins from a dead man's pocket. How is it that the good white queen uses such morbid-ass ingredients for a shrinking potion? I mean, dead fingers? Coins from a dead man's pocket? Horsefly urine? Can you at least put some sugar in that sh There's someone here who would like to speak with you. But they'll wait until it's dark and you've changed clothes. I'm Alice. Not that one. How do you know? You said so yourself. I said you are not hardly, Alice. But you're much more her now. This is some Obi-Wan Kenobi level bullshit here. <coughs> Will you stop doing that? Blue Caterpillar shows up simply to tell Alice that she might be Alice after all, and she needs to kill the Jabberwocky, something she already knows, and then disappears. Well, someone saw Pirates of the Caribbean. Okay, but since when does the Cheshire Cat have the power to change into other people? And how did they miss the color of his eyes during the walk from his prison cell to the execution? Why don't you slay the Jabberwocky yourself? 
You must have the power. It is against my vows to harm any living creature. Oh. Also, I keep those vows until it's time to make a potion of some sort, which requires the ill-gotten blood of former living creatures. With your hat. Cheshire Cat with the hat, Ex Machina. Have you any idea why a raven is like a writing desk? Approximately 60% of the dialogue in this movie is, have you any idea why a raven is like a writing desk and she's not the real Alice? Who will step forth to be champion for the White Queen? That would be I. No, me. Bald, fat Ron Weasley and his twin volunteer for certain death, despite being comically stupid thus far in the film. I'm surprised they even understood the question. If you were just going to refer to the scroll thing to decide whether anybody could help Alice fight the Jabberwocky, why did you bother asking anyone if they could help? No other slayer, no how. Isn't this common knowledge already? Didn't they open this up earlier and the blue caterpillar said she would slay the Jabberwocky? How did they miss this the first time? Alice spends a lot of time pacing and thinking about this decision, but my main question is, why did you rip off Revendell? You were just as dim witty the first time you were here. You called it Wonderland, as I recall. Wah, wah. Also, the word Wonderland is all it takes to help Alice remember the previous adventure enough to get the hero's job done in this adventure. Why didn't anyone remind her about Wonderland prior to this moment, eh? Also, Alice remembers doing all this same shit as a child, but isn't this a recurring dream? Didn't she say earlier in the movie she was still having this dream? How could she forget all this stuff? Why does it seem more real now? How is anything supposed to stand up to an army this size? Even a magic Gandalf Alice Aragorn would be useless against these numbers, right? While you weren't watching, Alice tamed this creature, found some form-fitting armor, and also consulted the script. None of these chess-head army soldiers can see a goddamn thing through their helmets, which means they're magic. Chess warriors that are mere pawns. Oh, the irony. Opposing armies happen to meet on a literal giant checker chessboard because imagery. Damn, that Jabberwocky's introduction is literally 5% of this film's runtime. One, there's a potion that can make you shrink. Alice starts remembering six impossible things, but all of them are things she knows to be true and possible. Oh, my old foe. Voice of Christopher Lee, further proof I'm watching a Lord of the Rings movie. Not you, insignificant bearer. My ancient enemy, Vorpal One. Jabberwocky sees inanimate object as his old foe, as if Alice could just drop the sword right here and let it do all the work. Because the Hatter interfered, apparently both armies are now allowed to just charge and do battle. Which makes me wonder why Alice has to keep fighting the f***ing Jabberwocky at that point. <laughs> Alice in Wonderland will now end with a color-muted Lord of the Rings facsimile. Domino soldiers. Mad Hatter sword fights with the knave, and I think I honestly care less about this sword fight than I do the one in Lincoln. I feel kind of like, even though the Jabberwocky doesn't know where she is, his super lightning breath should have still electrocuted her entirely metal ass. Jabberwocky head is nice enough to follow the stairs back down. Why did you do that? The White Queen said she couldn't kill the Red Queen because it's against her vows, which means she really wanted to kill her. But now somebody offers to do the job and you stop him? What kind of hippie shit is this? Flutterwhacken. Also, movie borrows Happy Dance ending from Tropic Thunder, but uses music from something out of 1994. And I don't give a shit what they were going for, this is a sin. Will this take me home, if that is what you choose? The blood of the Jabberwocky is what will bring Alice home. Basically, what you're saying is, she had no choice but to slay the Jabberwocky, which is against the spirit of your making your own choices that this story preaches. Alice is being shot back out of the rabbit hole, but then she has to still climb out of the hole? The blood of the Jabberwocky is like an Uber driver who can't get the last five feet to your destination. These assholes are still standing here, and don't give me the time stand still because she went to another world bullshit. She's been gone way long enough for everyone to give up and go home. Sorry, Hamish. I can't marry you. You're not the right man for me. And there's that trouble with your digestion. No need to be a dick about it. Damn. That is no prince, Aunt Imogen. You need to talk to someone about these delusions. I'm going to add 100 sins for this bullshit right here. This whole movie has been about how crazy people are the best people, and how impossible is a good thing. And now the main character of the movie informs her that she's crazy and needs help for her delusions. I'd remove 200 sins if the prince showed up right now to rub it in Alice's stupid face. I happen to love rabbits, especially white ones. That's racist. You two remind me of some funny boys I met in a dream. Not really, though. Not even close. But it sounds like a funny insult to people who actually enjoyed this movie. Which can't be many, right? Oh, and one more thing. Man, Futterwhacken is such a disappointment. Why not go all the way to China? You mean Alice is going to be responsible for the opium wars that started between the UK and China? That's unbefitting of a Disney heroine. I mean, heroine. Also, how is this something she's been wanting to do all these years? This is boring ass trade route shit. Doesn't she want to invent a clapperbonger or a Jalenspragen? When I think Alice in Wonderland, what I really think of is Avril Lavigne. You take the red pill. You stay in Wonderland, and I show you how deep the rabbit hole goes.
Do you think I've gone round the bend? Just around the river bend, beyond the shore. Ladies and gentlemen, it is with great honor that I present to you His Grace, the Count of Monte Cristo. Go, make me a bird so I can fly far, far, far away from here. Walk with me. I know the walls have ears, but apparently the shrubbery does too. Yes. Ned Stark had many admirers, and how many stepped forward when the executioner came for his head? Eat me! Eat me raw! Lorraine, my density has brought me to you. Most of all.